Listen, it's not the firefighting I'm worried about. I've been really well trained and I'm good at it. One thing I hate about my job is this bloody mask I'm forced to wear to keep my lungs clean. I'm no good to anyone if I collapse from heat exhaustion. I could die here. The boys all said to me, Oh, look, mate, you can't wear that rubbish. It'll kill you in there. A wet nappy's what you want. Latest technology, it's what they use at NASA. That'll do the trick. So next season, I did wear a wet nappy. It was a trick, all right. It works only in one place. That's up here in your imagination. Put me straight into hospital. The doctors in hospital said to me, Listen, you idiot. That smoke is full of poisonous gases and they're not going to be stopped by a wet nappy. You could die here. So I tried this bloody thing. Fogged up my glasses, it leaked like a sieve. I went straight back to hospital. And I tried this damn thing. The goggles wouldn't fit, the straps were killing me, it leaked like a sieve and I lasted 13 minutes. Finally, yep, back to this damn thing. Imagine working your ass off in stifling heat inside this torture chamber. It's stinking hot, it's damp. I've got to strap it on so tight it hurts. I can't see anything past this bloody canister. And I can still smell smoke in here. Oh no, there's another bloody thing hiding inside here. Another rubber mask. Help! You know what I want? I want a miracle. Number one, I want a respirator I don't have to strap to my poor face. Number two, I want a respirator that doesn't fog up my glasses and my goggles. And number three, I want a respirator that doesn't leak with my beautiful beard. Maybe then I can get on with my job of rescuing damsels in distress. I like my job. So you come across any miracles lately? Mr Gill, you've had some ideas. Listen, smartass, this had better be good, because I've had enough... Oh. The Gill's breather. A mouthpiece respirator. This reminds me of my old diving days. No matter how deep I went, my snorkel never leaked on me. I see what you've done. You've stuck a couple of filters on a bloody snorkel. Well, it's the perfect seal. There's a Velcro join back here. And the two halves open up. I just slip the breather respirator around my neck. Press the two halves back together. And that's what I call easy on and easy off. Contaminated air enters the breather through these gills behind. The air passes through very high efficiency filters in these cases. And I breathe clean purified air from here. A leak proof respirator. Wait a minute smartass, does it argue with my goggles? No, it doesn't. Does it get in the way of my earmuffs perhaps? No, it doesn't. My embergard even protects the breather itself as well as my neck. I can even use my breather wearing a spray unit on my back. And I can see what I'm doing. The breather does not even extend beyond my nose. So how come these goggles and these glasses of mine are, are not fogging up anymore? Because when I breathe out, the air exits behind my head through these vents. Wait a minute. I've just realised something. This breather doesn't touch my face. The breather doesn't touch my neck anywhere at all. Or my chin and my cheeks. This tiny nose clip stops me inhaling things that I shouldn't, just like when I'm swimming. And this stainless steel spring tether lets me remove my mouthpiece without taking off the nose clip. That means I can instantly have a drink, as often as I like, and even take that important phone call. I can get straight back to work. No readjusting, no refitting, no testing for leaks, no re headache with the old mask. There's no straps. Thank you, Mr Gill. I have never been safer or more comfortable, mate. And I've never been happier at my work. This 
is a miracle. But hang on, at home, I do a lot of my own body work, especially welding, and my lungs have never been safe from those fumes. Well, until now. But I do spray some really toxic stuff. I often use two-pack top coats, and they're not just bad for you, some of them are really carcinogenic. So then I just connect compressed air to special ports situated in the back of my breather. I don't need to use an expensive filter station. My breather itself can purify compressed air to the highest standard so it's safe for me to breathe. If I'm caught with no filters, I can keep working in perfect safety. My breather will deliver to me clean air from outside my workshop via fresh air hoses. The Gills Respiratory Protective System includes a full range of breathers with hoods. They're pressurised for really toxic atmospheres. Some of them are designed for long-term escape from disasters and emergencies. You can rescue yourself from building fires, gas attacks, chemical spills and even terrorist attacks. Every gill's hood includes special backup filters for when your air might be cut off. So maybe it's time to dump that old rubber mask and think about growing that beard you've always wanted. Go on, give your lungs a breather. Use your gills. <laughs>